Take one of the wheels and insert it like this into the side of the pressure washer. You should hear or feel it click into place, and you may need to use some pressure. Now, do the exact same thing with the other wheel on the other side. Now let's insert the carrying handle and transport handle. Up first, the carrying handle. And then next, the transport handle. While we're at it, let's make sure the detergent tank lid is correctly attached. Although we're not going to use the pressure washer today, there are a few steps you'll need to follow each time you want to clean. The first step will be to attach the high pressure hose. You simply insert the hose into the water outlet on the front of the pressure washer. You should hear or feel a click when the hose is properly attached. Give the hose a quick pull to make sure it's securely attached. The next step is to plug the pressure washer into an outdoor outlet. It's always a good idea to hit the reset button while you're doing this as well. We can now go ahead and attach a regular garden hose to your outdoor spigot. Make sure the hose is fully screwed on. At the other end of the garden hose, attach the yellow piece from the adapter. Once it's connected, you simply push it into the black adapter piece on the pressure washer. Press firmly, you should hear the two pieces click into place. Now you can turn on the outdoor spigot. Make sure it is completely and fully opened. We want to get the maximum water pressure from your home. Now, we'll attach the spray gun to the high pressure hose and insert one of the spray wands into the gun. I always start with the Vario wand and then switch out to the Dirt Blaster wand if I need extra pressure. To insert the wand, push and rotate. Before you begin pressure washing, always bleed the air out of the line by pulling the trigger until only water comes out of the wand. That's it. Those are the steps to get you up and running each time you want to pressure wash your home or vehicles.